Hey, what's up everyone? Pete here. Just want to give you an update about a couple of arrests that happened this morning at Keene District Court. Uh, as you may have heard, Adamo Freeman and Derek Horton were arrested. Um, Derek Horton was there along with Jason Rapture doing Don't Take the Plea outreach, which they do every week on Tuesday. And uh, Adamo had gone there to talk with Ed Burke, the man who wears a black dress, who believes he has the right to use force against others. Uh, Adamo had gone to talk to him about uh, his actions yesterday when uh, Ed had... Bo Davis kidnapped and caged for five days for failing to remove a hat when he ordered him to do so. I, I don't I'm going to take a recess. If I come out and still have you with a hat on, it'll be consent. That's all. Bo, of course, asked, why? Who's the victim? I'm just sitting here peacefully. And uh, he was taken away. Thanks for protecting us from hat wearers. <laughs> <laughs> I was terrified. So David went there today to ask Ed about that. He was... Uh, I just talked to a demo. He essentially said he had a very short conversation with Ed. Um, Ed then ordered some, told some people with badges to uh, kidnap and, and cage a demo, which they did. They followed that order blindly, and um, uh, a demo is now charged with a Class B felony. It's uh, improper influence, which is RSA number 640-3. And uh, I think what this statute was uh, apparently written for was to prevent um, public officials from being bribed. It has uh, language in here. It says, uh, privately addresses to any public servant, Judge E. Burke, who has or will have an official discretion in a judicial or administrative proceeding, any representation, argument, or other communication with the purpose of, in purpose of influencing that discretion on the basis of considerations. And I think that's the key point. Because considerations could be like a bribe or something, the way I read it. So, basis of considerations other than those authorized by law, which is really arbitrary man made legislation. But in that he questioned and commented on an open Keene District Court case while walking to the court. So, a couple things. Again, Adamo didn't do anything in considerations, wasn't offering anything. He was simply having, trying to have a conversation. Um, and also, this says there's an open Keene District Court case uh, referring to Bo Davis's court case, but in fact, Bo Davis yesterday was given a contempt charge. He was told he was going to be caged for five days, and that was the end of it. The court sentences of five days of the House of Corrections. All right. But today, when I spoke to Demo, he he communicated that they reopen Bo's case or something. I, I was unfortunately not able to talk to him too long and get clarification, but we should have, should have that soon. But um, anyway, he's uh, being held until his next court date, which is uh, July 7th at 9 a.m. in Jaffrey, New Hampshire. Um, I asked why he was not just going to be arraigned tomorrow and let out, and they said because it's a felony charge and it's a probable cause hearing. So what happened today was the man in the black dress issued a not guilty uh, plea on behalf of a demo and then uh, essentially agreed to uh, the prosecutor's wish for a $5,000 bail. So, yeah, so that's a pretty steep bail, and uh, this is a busy time for us. I mean, we just got off the road with the Free State Friendship Tour. We uh, hope to push out a lot of content and then turn our attention to um, our case in Massachusetts, which you can find out at coplock.org slash greenfield. Um, but I think where we're at right now is, you know, let's just – uh, put some pressure on these folks who think they have the right to use force. Uh, I mean, I don't want to give these these criminals five five grand extra. Uh, Damo said, he told me unless you know unless you need me out really bad to do work, you know I'll just I'll just sit. So I think uh, you know right now let's just let's just show them our support. Send them letters if you if you have uh, time. Make some calls on his behalf. Ask questions of the people who put him there. Uh, I had been in Massachusetts all morning trying to support. Uh, somebody down there whose house is um, being threatened uh, by, by people down there because he refused to give them money um, that they believe they ha had been owed. But uh, so when I finally got back to Keene and we went to court today, uh, I asked um, the bailiffs who came out immediately when they saw me, you know, am I going to be arrested if I film here? This is on the second floor lobby of Keene in town hall there, which is uh, where the court is, where we filmed yesterday um, after Bo's hearing. And uh, and no one was arrested yesterday, and there were multiple people filming. Today, that's what Derek Horton was arrested for. He he had followed a demo and Ed up, and when he heard the commotion up there, went up and filmed. And um, he was arrested right away, supposedly for uh, 
violation of an order, which was uh, no filming up there. So um, the other, the third person that had been there, Jason Rapture, who we call Rapture, he uh, came up and uh, got part of that. He got that arrest. So check it out here. But again, please take a moment, show a demo some love. Um, he and I have spoken about this a lot, and uh, you know, some folks that engage in civil disobedience uh, or just stand up for what's right and generally uh, go the lawyer route, go the legal route, which tends to be very expensive and inside the system. To us, it helps. It, it only grants legitimacy to the system. So, uh, we have gone pro se. We do still incur costs. Uh, we so if, if you do feel compelled to uh, help support and keep us going, I'll go to uh, coplock.org/support. Appreciate it in advance. Uh, a demo. Derek and Rapture all had cameras today. When a demo was taken, uh, was kidnapped. His camera was taken. Uh, he did get a receipt. Uh, it says property number thirteen twenty nine. Description to Panasonic. Uh, who it was received by, which is uh, pretty illegible there. Um, that's about it. Derek, I guess, uh, had his camera taken when he was uh, kidnapped initially, but uh, received it back. That's what I'm led to believe. Uh, he's he's not yet home from work, and I want to get this video up. But uh, look for that content later. And uh, Rapture uh, was able to get up there, and I guess got some video of Derek's arrest. And uh, we should hopefully have that video soon as well. So stay tuned. You know, when I asked those guys today, when I went up to the lobby, uh, who told me I would be arrested if I did film when I was trying to inquire about more information about a demo, I chose to leave my camera off because you know I want to get I want to help a demo out. You know, get more information, get the word out. But uh, I did have a conversation with those bailiffs, and you know, I said, I, you know, they essentially wouldn't comment about what happened today. Um, but I asked them to do what was right, and I asked them to uh, to issue a public, uh, you know, write something in public and, and say that they're not supportive of what happened, and uh, to do what they know is right, and, and to think their conscience. So, you know, hopefully they do that. We'll see. Thanks, thanks for all the uh, help in advance, guys. These are. Uh, Good people that are being locked up, they don't deserve to be there. So um, if we stand together and we stand for what's right, this we're going to live in a much better community. So peace. Yeah, hey, Sergeant Curtis, this is Pete Air. I just want to let you know this call is being recorded. And if someone were to come visit them, what do, do they need anything particular? Yeah, they need a uh, white driver's license, a government-issued valid photo ID. You have to be over 18 years old. Okay. Have you, do you know if you've interacted with him yet yourself? I have not. Okay. Well, if you meet him, he's a good guy, and uh, I hope you'll see that, and that he doesn't deserve to be there. All right, sir. All right. Take care. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye.